Hello everyone and welcome to Bob's Garden. I'm Bob. Today we're going to continue our series of the taming of the shrub and we're going to be talking about grafted shrub roses. Before we get started I want to show you a few things about grafted shrub roses. First thing we're going to look at here is down here there's this swollen junction here right here this is the graft union below this point underground is called the rootstock the rootstock gives us certain attributes like winter hardiness and disease resistance the top part is called the scion the scion will give us the scent and the color of this rose so what we're going to look for in the early spring, and I've looked all over this first and I've studied it. So we're going to be pruning this. The first thing, it's very easy for a beginner to get overwhelmed by all this. You just don't even know where to start. And uh, sometimes I don't even know where to start, so I have to think about it a bit. So the first obvious starting point is going to be dead wood. So let's just take that out first. We got our Falco number two pruners here and we'll see that there's a healthy branch coming off here it's green and this is all brown and dead we can also see here the last year's flowers this right here is called a rose hip the rose hip provides energy for the rose over the winter time so we need to leave some of these on at the end of the season you've heard of rose tip he tea well, this is where it comes from, and they're actually quite tasty. So we're going to cut out this dead wood right here. It's very easy to do. And we can see some dead wood on the other side of this. And we'll cut that off. So our goal with this grafted shrub rose is to provide a framework that is open and lets a lot of air circulation into it. So we're going to want this rose to be open and growing outwards. So with that in mind, we're going to shorten these branches here and we're going to cut to an outward facing bud. So here we have some buds that are outward facing here, right here. You can see this bud comes in towards the rose. Now if there was some major damage and we didn't have much yes we could cut to an inward facing bud that's for renewal and repair but now we can use this and cut a 45 degree angle cut like this about a quarter inch above the bud and shorten this to about six inches now you can see that this bud here is going to grow outward if you watch my video on beginning pruning you'll get this concept that this guides the growth outward so we've taken care of this and we see a lot of congestion in here so we have some thinner branches that are probably going to be no good so we could start removing this to provide an open framework so that's pretty good and we can cut this back down now here's a bud here that's inward growing we don't want that and here is one that's outward growing so we'll do that and then we'll take this bar one back here like this and now we're going to look along this one and then we can see a good outward facing bud there so we'll cut that and it's congested in here and you see this is a crossing this is crossing in here it's in a bad position so I'm going to take this out here first and now I'm going to cut this back as much as I can in here. Okay, see, this is nice radiating outward growth here. This is a rather thin one. If you have something that's thin like this, that can come out. And you see, if you concentrate on each facet of this, it doesn't become so overwhelming outward facing bud here and outward facing bud here this is brown here it's di uh, died back and so we'll just cut that out entirely we don't need this 
and sometimes in the very early spring you don't even see the buds along this so sometimes you can see these darker spots well here's one right here okay I found one so we'll, we'll cut that and I think we'll get rid of this and that's uh that looks pretty good this outward facing bud here outward facing bud there there is nice and open we might take this out let me think about that now we need something in the center here and there's it's not crossing so we're okay this is something you hear my my brain working away here and this is what you should be doing when you're thinking about this so each one is going to present itself a little differently and as I said earlier I studied this and I had a fair idea what I was going to be doing and that's how the uh, best way to approach this kind of thing every shrub rose is going to present with a different challenge this was a younger one we saw us prune that earlier we'll come over here and we can see an older one it's older wood here and you can see how we prune these to the outward facing buds we'll come over here this one's a little bit younger and again we'll have a different framework outward facing buds short canes nice and open it's not radiating around like that first one we showed you it's got all different directions then we've got this one down here oh boy I have been looking this over for at least 20 minutes if not longer <laughs> this is a knockout rose cultivar called knockout um, it's from Rosa Rugosa. It has five leaves. It's an easy care rose, um, but it does present with some pruning challenges. Here are the rose hips from the last season. And so we want a combination of the old framework, this old wood here, and we want to also have some new wood in here. Because eventually we'll be cutting out some of this oldest wood in here. So I've been looking over this for quite some time, and um, I know where I want to start. I want to start with this new cane right here. And so we have a nice outward facing bud right here. I identified this earlier, 45 degree angle cut. So we're leaving this on the old framework. This is congested in here, this little tiny branch in here, and that's also very skinny, so we can cut that entirely out because we have this new growth in here. If I didn't have that in there, then I wouldn't cut this out. And you see this branch is no good here. So it becomes, starts to become a little bit more logical once you've identified what you're going to do. So now we've opened up this in here and we have a taller framework so we don't have to cut too short in here. Outward facing bud there, outward facing bud here and we take out the one in the middle. Now I'm going to work on this and I'm going to show it to you after I finished. So here's our um, results from doing this uh, knockout rows. And you can see we've opened it up. We've left. This is going to be a taller framework now. Rows will be up to here by the end of the summer. And uh, we have the old wood here. And we keep in mind that at some point some of this old wood is going to need to come out. As long as you have these canes here that are green, you'll be all right. So the only one left that uh, I had been thinking about for quite some time here was what to do with this. I really don't feel I need it because I have a healthy bud here, I have a healthy part here, and a good structure. We don't need it coming out on the lawn. Now, for any given shrub rose, two different gardeners working on the same rose, doing the same plant, will approach this in a different way. And But the general idea of opening it up and having these outward facing buds, they'll agree on that. But exactly what to take out is going to be a matter of debate. So we have a fractured um, cane here. We'll take that out. And this is the last part right here. I don't need this. And 
there we are we're all done so thank you for watching our continuing series on the taming of the shrub please share comment and subscribe to my videos and we'll see you next time on bob's garden and remember be curious not judgmental